guys, Dalen here, and welcome to this video. So this is the 28th day of the World Event Series, and I actually have gotten my capping closer to being done than normal, um, and it's only like 10, so I'm probably going to be up until probably 11 or 12. Um, normally I wouldn't stay up that late, but I, I took a nap after I got home from class today for like four hours, so it's going to be hard for me to fall asleep, so I figure why even bother. Um, but, you know, whatever. So... But anyways, um, I have all of 200 and around 270k to 91 construction, which is good. So I should be getting that probably in the next three days or so. Um, and then I'm only 227k from 89 crafting, which I also should get in about three or four days. So that's going to definitely be nice. Because now at, when I'm at 89 crafting, I'll be able to make um, potion flasks. And I have like 2.1k or so um, red, sta red sandstone stacked up in my bank um, from the time where like I'm, I've been able to mine red sandstone, but I haven't been able to craft it. So um, I a lot sometimes I like literally just went and mined it for the mining experience, and I figure I might as well stack it up in the bank so I can get some crafting XP. <laughs> Um, when I get to 89, so I'll be able to make all of that, and then, um, so that'll be a nice, uh, experience booster per day for crafting, um, so, I'm still hoping to get 90 before the world event is over, um, I'm fairly confident that I'll be able to, but I'm not, like, 100% sure, really, um, kind of depends. Let's see... So Arma is leading by about 16.2 mil, which is a good thing. Um, I'm the the longer that it keeps going up, you know, the more I'm doubtful that uh Bandos would be able to pull it off and win. Um, although I kind of think it's weird that they that the god who loses is gonna like quote unquote die. Like literally, I. I find that weird, just because, I guess, Bandos has been in the game for so long. Like, he's been part of the lore forever. He's been, like, General Grador has been there ever since God Wars was released. He's been, Bandos has been an influence on the game forever. And really much the same with Armadillo as well, if Armadillo does end up losing. But, I, I, more, like I said, more and more I'm thinking that they probably won't. But, it, the gods have been an influence on the game for, like, the longest time. It's really hard for me to believe that they'll just literally kill one off. Like, one is gonna die. Um, I guess they did that to Guthix, though, so, you know, it just seems, like, weird to me that they'll do that, especially one that's, um, as influential as Bandos and or Armadale, or Armadale, um, but, you know, I guess they did that with Guthix as well, and that was a pretty big shocker as well, well, it wasn't exactly a shocker, but it was, you know, they took out a god, I mean, and he's, like, legitly dead. Um, there really aren't that many gods that they've done that, like, are, is, are legitly dead. Like, Zeros, he had his little sh dealio with Zamorak, but Zeros isn't actually dead. Um, and they've confirmed that Zeros isn't dead, so. And that he will come back sometime within the Sixth Age. Pretty sure. I think that's been a confirmation, but I'm not entirely sure, but I know for sure that he's not dead. Um... Let's see. Saren is kind of a mystery in terms of if she's dead or not. Um, some say that she is, and some say that she's not. Um, some say that she could possibly come back, and some say that they that she won't be able to. That's kind of a. If you, I've looked at her lore, and you know they, a lot of a lot of them say that that she basically committed suicide but not really committed suicide like she shattered herself into like a billion pieces and, sp and spread herself throughout the world so she's an influence like if you believe that she's an influence on Gilinor, but she's not really powerful enough to do much besides communicate with the elves like i think um like i'm a saren supporter obviously but i don't i'm not like the biggest runescape lore buff in the whole wide world um but i think that's what's 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 up with that but i don't know um i do remember at when during uh, that one quest of missing presumed death uh she was one of the few gods that did not show up to uh Sliske's big uh thingy unveiling if you will um so i mean 
I'm really sort of interested to see what they're going to do with her, if she's going to become a part, because they are going to be releasing Elf City, the Elf City, so you would expect Saren to be at least a little bit of a part of that, because she's the patron goddess of the elves, so you'd expect that, and so I'm kind of looking forward to that. It's one of the reasons why I'm hoping that the Elf City comes out before Invention, just because of lore purposes, but Invention still is pretty cool, and like I don't really care exactly which one comes out first. Um, as long as they both come out, um, so, uh, I was wrong on what update was coming, I thought it was gonna be Haiti and Skull, and it was Ports instead, which I'm not bummed about, not gonna lie, um, because w the Ports, I only have two more skills to get to 90 to be able to undo everything in Ports, I think, um, so, and crafting I should have before the world event is over, and so, I unlocked the chef and the hunter, what the hunter guy, um, today. I think, um, I think the ar architects will come soon. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if I've unlocked. I don't remember if I unlocked them or not. But I know for sure that I got the chef and the hunter, the one with uh, cooking and the one with hunter as well. So I know I did that. I'm not obviously good enough at port yet to get into the next regions. Um, Hoping, hoping that'll be soon, because literally I have so many, so much stainless steel, like, it, it, it's crazy, I have like, I literally have like 12k stainless steel, which I don't need, um, I mean, I use it to hire crew, but that's the only thing I use it for, um, I don't really, I, like, I've unlocked all of the, um, ship upgrades, and to upgrade my port more, I need to get more things like gunpowder and black slate, which I just haven't done. Um, and I need, so I need to get more of those resources before I'm able to use my stainless steel for port building, like upgrades. So we'll see. Um, hoping this isn't. Uh, hoping it won't take too long, um, especially because the missions for like black slate and gunpowder are fairly short especially compared to what i've been going i go i'm i've usually been going on between 10 and 14 hour missions with um, stainless steel so um that the hour or two missions are like really short to me like they feel super short so but yeah i was wrong um that'll be cool although the um I guess I'll just, like, talk about it right now, just because I don't know if I'm actually going to do the January BTS, just because I don't really ha I haven't had the time, really. So, I'll just, uh, talk about the ports update in this video. Um, as soon as I open up the news post, because my phone is being slow. Um, but anyways, so, the, this basically ports batch 2, uh, which I think is really cool. Um, been waiting for it, really. But anyway, so it's the trapper, the architect, and the sh and the sh uh, chef, and you can collect new scrolls containing recipes for level eighty five cape ring and thrown weapons and craft them with loot. It's basically the same thing as like Tetsu, um, Sea Singers, and Death Lotus, except uh, it's level eighty five gear and not ninety gear. But and some of the levels are different. So you, there's over three hundred new missions and there's new resources Azure and Terracotta. Um, to augment ships, so you that's basically like your stainless steel, your jade, and that kind of stuff. So you'll be able to upgrade your ships and your port with um, those. And then there's also new trade goods called pearl and koi scales, which you'll be able to um, make new the new equipment, and you can find them in the hook region or beyond. So there's different backstories for all of them. So the architect is a serene, well well spoken lady who is looking to complement her earth earthquake proof methods with western building techniques. And she, uh, she can visit your port as soon as you hit level 90 construction, and you can build the ornate arch, which, um, port improvement, which makes her appear more. Um, the, uh, the chef is an errant, um, gas, gastrome with a, um, and don't mock me for that pronunciation, uh, with a pen pension for experimental and potentially toxic seasoning hit 90 cooking for a chance to bring him on board and add the cooking pot improvement to up the likelihood and then the trapper this mightily mustache big game hunter 
loves tracking wild bees almost as much as he loves polishing old Bessie, his beloved cannon. Can show up at your port as soon as you hit level 90 hunter with an increased chance if you build the trap improvement. So basically it's just like all the other storylines. Um just a sec. Uh But anyways, um, it's basically just like all your other storylines, like the assassin and um, the whaler and all them. Uh, it's the same idea. There's the new and then um, shady looking trader who will set up resident in your port, exchange the port good port resources for trade goods at a favorable weight rate to himself, of course. Um, he has a daily special as well, so be sure to take advantage. Um, finally, you'll see an all new random event where you help sea singer um, Umi to locate some lost items in exchange um, for uh, helping a port resources. So, the new items basically, um, the Reef Walker's Cape is a level 85 cape, level defense and constitution required for all combat styles. It comes in two varieties the standard, which is degrades until destroyed and, and is treatable, and the superior version, whose uh, repairability and improved stats are matched by the increased cost and untradeability for armor and life point bonuses in particular the superior reef walkers cape is the best in slot um to make these capes with level 90 crafting and copious amounts of koi scales so you're gonna need koi scales and level 90 crafting to make it um there's a leviathan ring a level 85 ring defense and constitution offering a two or five percent chance depending on the version to half damage of attacks made against its wearer plus a hardy critical chance bonuses for all combat styles and with the reef walkers cape the standard ring degrades and is destroyed uh, until destroyed and is tradable and the superior has better stats and can be re um, repaired can be repaired and um, cost more but um these also require level 90 crafting um to make but you need pearls for to make these and then death lotus darts with level 85 um with thrown weapons and you make them out of ancient bones and ascension charge 92 fletching so it's the new armor the new stuff so it's definitely a cool thing i'm really kind of glad that they um finally updated the ports it's kind of been in need of it for a while i think um people were maxing out ports months ago so um ports needed kind of an update so there are some also some things like on f um, from Friday, they're running a promotion where all XP lamps on the Squeal of Fortune will be replaced with Fallen Stars. They give a little bit more experience than the bonus um, than the lamps would have, but it's in bonus experience, so you get so you have to train um, the skill to get the experience instead of just getting a lump sum. New Solomon store stuff, which is the Armadale Bando stuff, and then now you can repair port armor with uh, surplus trade goods. And to do it, you just use your damage or your broken items on the port's crafting table or anvil. Um, in the immediate future, Black Marketeer and Trader will not offer Azure and Terracotta. Christmas has been basically taken out now. Um, ne ch changes to Nex have been made, where now um, Nex can be instanced. Um, she will now enter a deflect magic stance instead of ranged um, deflect range on every other fight. Nex's wings will now recolor green, wh green, white, deflecting range, blue when deflecting magic, and red, orange when deflecting melee. And the Virtus Wand and Book now degrade a similar way. Uh, similar tiered items and uh, royal crossbow no longer recharges from the forging fire attack but now can be recharged by 25 percent by using a royal crossbow component on the crossbow so i think that's going to be an, an interesting thing that's going to probably make royal crossbow pieces um go up a little bit at least um so anyways um Let's see. So that's really all I got for today, you know, just talking about the updates and stuff and just capping. So anyways, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you later. Thanks. Bye.